We want to build an umbrella structure based on this frame. where these curved arms are built from uh, metal, uh, curved metal pieces and I've just drawn in some straight lines to provide a boundary um, along, the, along the edge of the structure. We would build this uh, using M panel and we would put a mesh into each of these triangular sections using the edge mesh tool selecting a bottom edge a right edge because this is going to be a triangular mesh we're going to skip the top edge so we're just going to press enter and then we're going to select the left edge and that will put in a mesh for us on on part of that structure. We can go ahead and do the same meshing on uh, all four pieces or if we uh, if we want to do this using AutoCAD we can use AutoCAD Polar Array to create the other four meshes. I'm just going to make a copy of just the four meshes. In fact, I'll just uh, move these across so you can see that I'm leaving behind all of the construction lines, the uh, things like the arcs, the edge lines, because we don't need those in M-Panel. If all four edges of the, of the model are fixed, and in fact, I'll just make a copy of this to where we can show two, two possibilities here. If all the edges um, around the outside are fixed, in other words if there is a metal frame around those edges as well, so that for each of these meshes every single edge is fixed, then we can just pick this model up as it stands and relax it with fixed edge meshes because each mesh edge corresponds to a, uh, to, a, to a metal piece in the structure and is fixed. We'll get a warning that we've got a possible resolution problem. Um, that's because I did the AutoCAD Polar Array and some of these points in the very uh, centre um, are, are not exactly in the right place. But it's, it's good enough. We can just go with, go with that. delete the old object and here we can see our shaped structure um, around the around the frame which is now of course available for for paneling if we wanted to have um, cable edges on some of the on make on probably on all of the edges of the umbrella or possibly on some then we have to, with cable edges, we have to have 3D polylines which are going to fix the points that can't move. With uh, relaxing using fixed edge meshes, we can assume that the edges of the meshes are fixed. With a cable edge, we can't assume that. And so to generate the 3D polys for those edges, what we'd usually do is take a copy of the model, just the meshes, We'd uh, run the M panel tool mesh to poly conversion. Delete the old objects. And this leaves us with a set of polylines, one representing each of the each of the mesh edges. If, if all of the outside of the umbrella were going to be cable edges, that is not fixed except at the corners, then we would just need
these frame members as cur as to, to define the arc curves and we would copy them into the structure at, at that point. If, as an example, one of these edges was also fixed, uh, was, was fixed perhaps to a wall that the structure was going to be attached to, then we would need the 3D poly um, from, uh, from that. And I'll put just one of these on as an example. With those 3D polys in place, we could go ahead and relax the structure. We would relax it, of course, with cable edge meshes to where we got a cable edge on the three edges of the structure here that we haven't fixed. Delete the old object. And here is our umbrella structure with one edge ready to be fixed onto a building, the other three to be have the edges defined with cables.